Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and I am here to do project number four for the, what is it even called? Into the Wild collection from Close to My Heart. I'm gonna do this one. This is the one, it's in the idea book, but it's advertising the stamp. The actual collection only had, I think, maybe um, it had three double page layouts. But this one, because I still have some stuff left, I want to go ahead and do a single page. Now, I didn't have any more of the Heather cardstock left over from close to my heart. So I did just pull a off brand that I already had sitting in my stash. So that's not close to my heart, this gray border, because I did want to keep the border in there like what is in the original. I'll put that up in the top right hand corner so you can see it. See this one right here, oops, sorry about that. This one right here is not close to my heart, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down like something like that. I do have these three photos of Chiron and I had this close to my heart cardstock left over so this these I'm going to go ahead and mat on this on this gray I'm going to mat them like this and then I'm going to put this card stock down on the back and then I'll come back okay all right guys um you can see on the original it has some ripped edges what I'm going to do I'm, I'm going to put them in this order this one is not quite 12 inches long so I'm going to rip it in half and the halfway point should go behind my center photo. Well, I'm hoping that's how it works out. Or, I don't know, maybe I should rip it on one of the sides so that, um, if it sticks out a little bit, I can put the tree there. I don't know if it's gonna be down this far or if I'm gonna have it up more. I haven't really decided on that part yet. If I have it up further, then I'll have to have an embellishment down here wherever the rib is. So anyways, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It might just go under the photo. Now what I like to do when I rip my paper, it's going to be this side up, so I'm going to rip it toward me. But what I like to do is I, I like to use a moist baby wipe and it just kind of gets the fibers a little bit wet so that I can have more control over the rip. That's what I do when I'm ripping freehand. Now sometimes I will rip or I like to rip with a ruler. Now I do have a ripping ruler but in this instance I decided I would just rip a freehand. See this is already drying up. Um, my this baby wipe is very um, not very I was gonna say very dry but it's pretty dry it's not hardly moist at all so that rip looks pretty good to me I have a little bit right here that I'm not super fond of having that much of the white so I'll just go in and and rip it down rip the wipe down just a little bit more pretty good maybe I'll get rid of a little bit right here though a little bit of that white right there my if you notice my nails they're pretty chewed up I um, was chewing them all day Friday Bailey remember I was saying well I don't know if you remember or not because I don't know I had a video that was messed up so you might not have even seen it I'm gonna try and put it back up I don't know we'll see how it goes anyways Bailey was sick and we had to take her to the back to the vet Friday and they ended up having to do emergency bladder surgery on her because she had those bladder stones well when they first saw that she had bladder stones several weeks ago the vet was like her heart is enlarged and there's fluid around her heart so we can't do an operation 
you know, was trying to get her heart down. So they put her on some heart meds. Well, her heart hasn't gotten better yet, but it got to the point where if we didn't fix the bladder stones, she was going to die either way. She would either die because of the bladder stones because she couldn't pee. So then she's releasing toxins into her body or she was going to die because she was having surgery and her heart couldn't take it. Well, either way, it was going to be bad. So we opted for the surgery and she pulled through it. She's still at the vet though. She's really lethargic and everything. Anyways, my nails, yeah, I've chewed them down because she, it was emergency surgery. We didn't know she was doing it and they were bumping her to the top of the list. And this was like at, you know, eight o'clock in the morning. Well, at three o'clock in the afternoon, I still hadn't heard from them. I was sitting there just chewing on my nails all day long, just nervous and worried about her. So, yeah, sorry about my nails. They'll grow out a little bit, probably in a month or so. My nails grow slow, and they're very thin, so they break a lot anyway. So this is how I do my ripping. And I know people have different techniques. This is just the one I like to do because I can control the rip better when it's a little bit moist. And sorry if you're one of those people who hate the word moist. I know there's a lot of people who hate that word. I don't know why, but it's weird. But there are. So, in the original, this goes down. And they're different colors in the original, first of all. But these are the papers I happen to have left. And then, so I chose these photos of Chiron where he was wearing gray. This goes down. And then this will go down. Now... To me, I feel like this one's a little too thick, maybe, because I am going to use that stamp that is advertised on there, that from Little Seeds Grow Mighty Trees. I have it right here, so I need to make sure I have enough room for this. Excuse me. So I'm going to want to drop this down a little bit, right? So this I'm going to need to cut off a little bit of, probably about three quarters of an inch or so, I would guess. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll cut off this. We'll cut off this much, however much this is. That's what we're cutting off. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm just gonna put these papers down and I'm gonna put the pictures down. They'll just go like this. I'm gonna kind of have them cockeyed a little bit not all straight we're gonna have a little bit of a wonky one in the original it looks like they're three by threes these are a little bit smaller than three by four because if i had them three by four i did not i would not have had enough gray cardstock so i've made them a little bit smaller all right let me tack this down and i will okay guys um i decided not to put those pictures down yet because i want to put i want to stamp but i want to make sure that i put the pictures down in the a good spot so I'm gonna, I'm very scared to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm using this New England Ivy ink, and I feel like, well, maybe not. I was gonna say, I think I read today that that's gonna be discontinued, but no, I think the New England Ivy cardstock is gonna be continued, not the ink. I don't know. But I don't have anything green on here yet, however, I do have a bunch of trees and stuff. There are some other green elements I can tie in here. I would like to stamp this in charcoal, but I don't have that color yet. I did order it and it hasn't came in. So we're just gonna use this new England Ivy. I did practice stamp it here. It stamped pretty good. I only stamped it twice. I probably should have stamped it a lot more than twice before I go put it on a layout, but whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. One thing you will know about me is I am not a perfectionist, even a little bit. I did try to line up the stamp a little bit 
in the center of the grid lines that's on this stamp thing. This is a Fiskars stampy thingy. Now I put my layout at 12 inch, you know, in a 12 inch box. So I think I'm going to want the title up a little bit. My head's going to be in the way and I apologize for that. I want to try and get it a little bit straight, as straight as I can, and as centered as I can. Now that looks pretty centered to me. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and do it for my ink dries. Okay. Now when I was doing my practice stamping, there were like this S didn't stamp because I think I didn't push on it. I don't know. Everybody out there, cross your fingers. Cross your fingers for me. I super hope this works. I do have that Tim Holtz um, stamp platform, but I didn't want to pull that out. I need to learn how to be a good stamper without all that stuff. Here, what do you think? That's cute, right? Now, like I said, it is green. That's cute. From little seeds grow mighty trees. Cute, cute. Alright. So this is the photo I want to use in the center. And then I'm going to put these on the sides. Like that. Do you think I should pop up the center one? Maybe we should. Maybe we should pop up the center one. Um, a little bit. I've been having a lot of fun with this close to my heart stuff. It's been super duper fun. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, I have been having technical issue, issues and I think it's because my hard drive is full. Oops. I think it's because my hard drive is full and I ran out of space on my, ex I have like four external hard drives because I fill them up and then I put them in a fire safe box so that I will have my videos. Because when you do videos, you're doing videos, but also it's kind of like a record of time, right? So I mean, it's kind of like a, a verbal or a video journal, if you will, right? So I wanna make sure I have those safe. So I do keep put, put those in a fire safe box so that when I kick it, Maybe Riley might want them. Maybe BJ might want them. I don't know. Maybe my nieces might want them. Who knows? So I do save my videos because YouTube's not going to be around forever. There's always going to be more and more and more technology, right? Because when's the last time you looked at a blog? And I know if you're a close to my heart person, probably you look at blogs still. But I mean, the only blogs I really look at are manufacturer's blogs. I don't really look at normal people, just regular everyday people blogs. I mean, why? When I can hear someone talk to things to me, why, why would I take the time to read it? I know that's a horrible thing to say, but that's how I feel. I don't know where I was going with that. I have no idea. So I do have all of these embellishments left. Here's a dark gray label. You can put the date on it. Dark gray label. Maybe I want it to be down here. Oops, nope, that's. I don't think so. I want it to go part way under the. Who knows? I put that somewhere. I've got a tree. I've got a geotag, but they're not really traveling, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm just going to punch these out because. I only have a couple left in here. Here's another tree. It's one of those stick trees. Stick figure type trees. I can probably put that on that label. Bam. No. Um, maybe he'll go under there. I got this raccoon, which I really love this raccoon. I was hoping to get that on a paper, but this does not have anything to do with from little seeds grow, seeds grow mighty trees. Do you think I should put a journaling spot down here for his mama? I'll think about that. I'm not sure. Oh, look, here's another label that probably will work better because it's green. Although it does not have a place I can stamp the date on it. Maybe 
if I put this label sticker down right here and maybe I can lay this over it like that yeah I don't know no, I'm not in love with that I don't know I'm not in love with that um here's another tree and oh, sorry I do have some wax paper I can stick stuff on and then I got a lot of words Growing so fast, my everything love you. Stealing hearts, boys will be your star. Now I also have all of this stuff left. So there are some wood veneer stars in here. I only have one that is a full star and I only have one that is a cutout star, but I have three that are circle stars like that. So, Maybe that's the way I might want to go. I also have an arrow. Put that on this journaling tag. Maybe we could sit this the tree down there and put the arrow on it like that, maybe. And then I have a bunch that I have cut out. I bought that stamp and die set that is this one. That is from that is that one right there that I just used. I got the stamp and die set. Everybody who had ordered something from me, I did spend a spend time stamping and die cutting for those people, and it was a lot, 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 lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So I do have still have some of those left that I could put down. And I have different sizes. I don't think I really want the trees up top because I do have stars. So maybe I might want to have blue and green stars. He does have blue jeans on. So I mean, maybe I could tuck in some blue trees too. I don't know. Do you guys like that wood veneer on there? I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I'm really in love with that wood veneer. What do you guys think about that wood veneer? I mean, I like it, but I don't know that I'm 100% sold on it. stars at so apparently I have a lot of blue oh here's a green here's a green here's a green let's take this dark green and put it over here and take this light green and put it over here I don't I don't know about these I'm not really sold on these they're okay but I'm not really sold on those um, but then do I have to take off all the wood veneer if I take off those ones? I don't know. Yeah, these die cuts are really cute. Love them. They're super, super fun. Okay. Um, what do you think about what we have so far? I'm going to go ahead. I like this tree. I'm going to go ahead and stick this one down. not married to this right here yet I don't I'm not 100% in love with that so I have a dream big little guy then stuff about boys being noise with dirt on them which that's a for real true statement let me go ahead and put these put these down I think I will pop 
a couple of these up on some foam tape and then I'll come back. Okay guys, um, I took the label off over here. I just wasn't loving that. I also cleared off the wood veneer. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this down here for journaling in case Tiffany does want to write something. If she doesn't, then I don't want to tell her. It's gonna be there. Ah. Um, I usually have a, it's right here, a nail file. You can use an emery board. That I have a glass nail file just because that's what I tend to use. And if I have any of those pokey things that I can't really get off with um, scissors, I'll just go like this with my nail file. It kind of roughs up the edges a little bit, which I like. I mean, it doesn't have to. You can do it gently and it won't. But I'm doing it not gently, intentionally to, um, you know, kind of fit in a little bit with the rest of that distress. But you definitely could do it lighter, you know, do it with a lighter touch so that it doesn't get a distressed look to it. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and pull it all the way down to the bottom. And the reason I'm doing that is because I think I want my trees to be down that low. So that's what we're going to do. There. Now I have another kit from Close to My Heart that we worked on either earlier this month. I guess it could have been in June. I don't really remember when we worked on it. But it came with some silver... Um, glitter dots. I'm going to put those around the page. I think it might have been an Into the Wild one, but in June they had page kits where you got the stamp and then you got enough papers to make one double page layout. And it was like $18.95. It was like just the price of the stamp is what you were paying for it. And I got several of those. I still have two I need to do, but I think the one that was with this collection, I it got. I think that's the one that came with the silver mm -mm -mm, gems. Not 100% sure, but I think I think that's what it was. I'm gonna stick that there, and I'm gonna put this little blue one right there in the center. So there's all this room for writing. Now these are photos of my great nephew, Kyron. So this is a layout that would be going to Tiffany. So I'm not writing anything on there. I'm just gonna stick a little bit of a liquid adhesive under there cause it's, I didn't put enough ATG and that's fine. Okay, so I have the silver bits. I'm just gonna kind of Oops, the back fell off of this one almost. Okay, it did. Let me just pull it off. They already have adhesive, but like this one, the adhesive that just came off of it, that happens sometimes. It's not that big of a deal. Especially if you usually, you know, put adhesive down anyway. Nope, I don't like that because look, they're right in a line, so I need to pull that one up. Maybe I should use a smaller one. There, right there. So I'll put a tiny one right there. Maybe one there. Bigger one right there. Maybe a tiny one. Okay, I only have one tiny one left, so I might as well use it somewhere. And then I have. 910 big ones, so I can keep those for another project. But I have another tiny one. Stay right there, I guess. Is that too much? Because this is more heavy with this down here. Maybe I should have put that on this side. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm overthinking that. That's I need to not do that. Don't think, just do. Okay guys, I'm not going to do anything else to this. I think that, well not think, I am going to come back with a share of everything I did and then I'm going to have a special giveaway on the next video. 
so here you go this is what this looks like all right guys i want to thank you so much for joining me and i will see you in the next video bye guys